I guess my my question is like, do you have any tips on embracing failure or, or I I don't know. I you know I grew up very much like that. Like, perfect was the goal, a hundred percent was the goal, ninety nine percent, and it's like ah I almost got it. You know I wasn't even happy really, right? And I'm still kind of like that, but the focus has changed. It's not the result; it's the process. So, like, are you trying your hardest? That's your goal, because that's totally in your control. It's not the result of your drawing in the end. Did it turn out good? Did it turn out bad? It's more like, did you? Were you trying hard? Were you getting frustrated and you still sat there and you worked through it? Because that's what we are doing all the time with these 90-minute workouts. Every single one we've mentioned our frustrations, and every single one we stayed there, right? And that should be the goal. Once you do that, then all of a sudden you take control of your life too, because now you can succeed every day if you like, right? Even if the objective of why you're doing the thing that you're doing fails, you still succeeded because you tried your hardest. And I know that might sound corny, but the thing about this is, there'll always be ups and downs. But as long as you're generally heading in the right direction, you're doing amazing, and life is going to get better and better. So, as long as you're constantly putting in the effort, and you are constantly kind of. Rethinking your approach: Is this the right approach? Okay, it is. I'll keep going. Or, is this the right approach? I've been trying it for a while. It's not really working. Can I do something different? If you're constantly doing that, then you'll always succeed while still、um, satisfying that part of you where it's like, I need to get everything perfect. I need to hit everything right on the dot every time. Right? Make it about your effort. Yeah, I just wanted to add.、Um, I think for me, I had the the complete same feeling,、um, especially when I first started projects at the studio, where、um, I would work for、uh, bigger companies. And at that time, I didn't really do much.、Uh, I didn't like practice much. I didn't really produce that much art for myself. So that, like, pretty much, I wasn't prepared to. Do these big projects. So when I felt like I failed and crashed and burned, like I obviously put a lot of、um, uh, pressure on myself. I would tell myself like, "Oh, Miss A did do a good job." But then、uh, I guess this year I really realized that like doing these kind of like studies and doing a lot of、um, small challenges or small assignments for myself and kind of learning like some are successful, some are not so successful. Building that tolerance of, like you know, quote unquote failure has helped me,、um, like,、uh, be okay with、uh, not doing so great on certain things. So I think,、uh, like, yeah, it's like what Bobby is saying.、Uh, if you're going through the right path and you know you're you're doing so, like, you just have to like stick with it and、um, just like keep going through it. Thank you guys so much. That was、uh, that was actually really helpful. I really needed to hear that.